IPMNation.com. Counterpunch Media Live in three, two, one. Live from the Counterpunch Studios in Columbus, Ohio, you're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody on IPMNation.com. If you're not going to mortal up, why not just stay in bed? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is not a drill. All Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Welcome, 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 and thank you for stopping by. The 400, what is this, the 449th, I believe, the 449th episode of the number one rated all natural being and the gong heard around the world, as I like to think of it, as I say, it is for me every day, your snooze alarms, sworn enemy, radio that sparks your smart, broadcast that builds your strong. And unleashes your legendary. Because make no mistake, I believe if you're still here, if you're vertical, you've got a legend to let loose. And to that end, we're simply serving up the best thoughts in the history of thinking. So what do you say? Here's your opportunity to mortal up. It's like an archaeological dig to crush your can't and your critics. It's time. So let's go kick in some doors. we got a lot to get to this morning. You know, we talk all the time about... And our, our opening segment of uh, Low Life's Making Headlines, is it going to be a, 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 a Low Life Making Headlines or a Hero's Making Headlines? And I always go back and forth. I go, oh, well, we should do this. Oh, we should do, uh, we should do a Low Life or we should do a Hero. Well, this morning, I have one Low Life and one Hero, and I just can't pick between the two. So I thought when we get into our Low Life's Making Headlines segment, we'll do that. We'll offer a Hero Making Headlines. We'll save the Hero for last. We'll offer a Low Life Making Headlines. And then we'll offer a hero making headlines. This is, this, the, you're not going to want to miss this. And so let's do this maybe, uh, you know, here just in a few minutes. All right. I wanted to catch you up today is what? How many days do I have left? Tw- I think I said 12 days of uh, until I head in what, what I'm calling BT, not PTSD, but BTSD, the brain tumor shindig. Uh, 12 days until I head into the brain tumor shindig, uh, the house of Dremel. <laughs> And, uh, uh, and go for my fifth brain surgery in two and a half years. So that's coming up on the 23rd. Here's a little bit of a programming note I hope to do today, right? I hope I make it through here. Uh, hope to do today. Hope to do tomorrow, which will be the 450th episode. And then I'm really excited about Saturday. Now, all the slots are filled for the IPM Nation's International Block Party for the Brian Brain Trust uh, live April 13th, which will be this Saturday, 11 a.m. to midnight. You can be a part of backing Brian's brain, why you'd want any uh, responsibility, or not responsibility, but like, you, you know, or maybe you'd want plausible deniability, right? Maybe you'd go, oh, I have nothing to do with that kid's brain, that guy's brain. Uh, But in any event, we'll be doing the International Block Party on Saturday. I want to thank everyone, all the cool people that uh, are uh, jumping on to participate. And if you haven't had a chance yet uh, and you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do all day Saturday? Yeah, you got 13 different hours that you can stop by, check in, and uh, we'll let you know what's going on. And thank you to everyone over uh, that has contributed to the GoFundMe page. We're well over a quarter of the way there. Thank you all uh, very much for that. I super appreciate it. 
And uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about that. Uh, and then as another programming note, my hope is to do, as I say, the first two shows today and tomorrow. We'll do the 13-hour episode on Saturday. And then I'm going to shoot for Monday through Friday next week. So we'll have five live shows. I'm going to shoot for the Monday Right after Easter, we'll do a quick, uh, you know, we'll do a morning show uh, right after Easter. And then, um, uh, you know, the 23rd, I'll be heading in. So we're going to pre-record some shows. And I wanted to do these pre-recorded shows like you could go, oh, I wonder what he's thinking. Well, I'm going to imagine what I'll be thinking, right, all drugged up, right? getting ready to maybe wheeled in to, at the uh, Columbus Cranium Shack and, and uh, Drug Hut. Uh, I'll be wheeled in. And, you know, so you'll be <laughs> Or you'll be with me in real time. I might, might not be live, but if you're listening to the morning show, you'll go, yeah, they're cutting into that boy right now. So uh, that's our programming note from there. All right, another uh, uh, programming note. Well, I should also mention, because I forget this from time to time, don't forget, you can call us 833-646-3877. I think we've worked out uh, some of the kinks. 833-MIND-UPS, just like push-ups or sit-ups or pull-ups, 833-MIND-UPS. If you want to give us a holler this morning, that would be great. Uh, also, I'll throw the QR code up. Don't You know how this works. If you get a QR code, you hit the QR code that will be up on the screen momentarily. You hit that QR code, uh, and then you can take us uh, right out the door. You can hop right in, and uh, you won't miss a beat here on the show. So if you get a chance to do that, we would love to, as I say, we would love to ride shotgun with you. We'd love to be a part of, uh, of you know, just of your, uh, as you get ready to jumpstart your day, we'd be all over it. So you hit the QR code uh, and we'll be uh, there right along with you. All right. So I, I had an interesting, I, I should catch you up on a couple different days. I talked to my good friend, uh, Lee Rowley, and, and Lee's always fantastic. He's like, hey, what do you need? What are you going to do? How's this going to work? And he's, he just, he always throws in, no matter what he throws in and says, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I had this thing where I wanted to, you know, just kind of figure out, is this going to work? Is this going to be okay? Will this, you know, this whole concept, so I'll tell you about my meeting yesterday, but let me say hello to Amy. Amy, good morning to you as well. Thank you for joining us. Sarah, good morning. Please tell all the boys I said howdy. Kathy, good morning to you as well. Thank you so very much for hanging out and joining us here. Now, let me see. I got okay, there's everybody. So we decided that we're going to do, you know, the, the mortalup.com, right? Because of uh, our... our <laughs> Our marketing campaign, right? Because I'm not so sure Facebook ads are working anymore. Everybody and their brother wants you to be an author, wants you to be a speaker. Best speaker in the world. I should want to be the best speaker in the world. Yeah, whatever. All right. So you're right. I'm not just sure that that's the way to do marketing anymore. So to draw people, especially in my absence, uh, uh, you know, my stay at the uh, Columbus Cranium Shack and Needle Emporium, uh, right? I'm trying to find other ways of doing some marketing. So I came up with this crafty, I think crafty, right? But I'm, as we know, brain damaged. Uh, I came up with this crafty idea of these mortalup.com signs, right? And the mortalup.com is it, it, it links right to the show. So you can get in, and thanks to Wayne, you can listen live, you can watch live, you can view the archives, you can view all the other stuff uh, going on, right? So I come up with this idea, mortalup.com. So my first day, I got 10 miles under my belt. I'm out and about walking around. It's good for, the, good for my back, right? So I'm getting up. I'm getting my exercise. Doctors say, oh, the exercise is good for you. Walking, you know, as long as you're not mountain biking or kickboxing or deadlifting, you're going to be great so you can get up and, and do some walking. So I come up with this idea, mortal up. I put the bolts in, went over to Home Depot. I have mastered the acumen at least of uh, self-locking uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, so I went over to Home Depot and uh, put together this sign on a stick. Right? It just says mortal up both sides. And my first day was 10 miles, and I went out and about walking around the streets uh, with my sign that said mortal up to, you know, to, to draw people in. Let me say howdy real quick to Jen Coffee. Jenny, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you this coming Saturday. Thank you so very much for agreeing to be one of the show hosts on the IPM Nation International Block Party. Thank you for that. So I'm out and about walking around. I got my Garmin so I can chart my course, right? And I, could, and I actually got the mileage in. 
So yesterday I think, you know what? What if, what if, what if we don't live in a country that's absolutely free? What if this whole thing, oh, you have a First Amendment right to, to, to press, right, to write things, right? You have a First Amendment right to put things on a stick and walk around with it. Or, or you have the right to freedom to assemble, right? You can get to any street corner you want. You can, be, you know what I mean? You can, uh, all, these, all these rights that you have. But I said, what if, just what if, Good morning, Ian. Thank you so very much for joining us across the pond. Please feel free. Give us a Brexit update if you can. Um, and we were just talking this morning about freedom of speech, uh, which I just think it's not just a great idea here in the States. It's a great idea all over the world, right? That part, the, the, the amendments to the Constitution should be great for everyone. Should should be just the way it goes. So I'm thinking to myself, ah, oh, you know, it's just like you ever have one of those things in the back of your mind and you go, it, 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 this just can't be the way it is. But you're thinking, and, and, and it just it won't let you go. It's kind of like binge thinking, right? And you just go, all right, so I'm over at the post office the other day. Good morning to you, Ian, as well. I'm over to the post office the other day, uh, yesterday, and right across the street from the post office where I live in the People's Republic of New Albany um, uh, is the town hall. So on a total fluke, and, and to try to quiet the monkey, right, to quiet the binge thinking, Hello, Karen. Thank you for joining us. To quiet the binge thinking, I decide that I'll go right across the street. Look, right, look both ways. Go right across the street to City Hall, right? Big building, big moniker, City Hall. You walk in, the judges' chambers are to the left, the, right? The, the, the office building management, you know, the uh, bureaucratic, uh, bureaucratic behemoth. Uh, the legislative Leviathan is over to the right. So I walk in and I go, hey, I know. And I meet a, 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 a nice, very nice lady there. And I don't want to mention her name because I didn't tell her I would. But I mentioned a nice lady. I go, I know this is really weird, but I'd like to carry a sign on a stick, right? Kind of like if you go to the state fair, a hot dog on a stick. I'd like to carry a sign on a stick and I'd like to walk around and, and right, there you go. And I go, but I got this sneaking little suspicion that... It may not be legal. And I go, I know it's nuts, right? I'm a couple quarts low. I know it's nuts. We live here in, 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 the, in, in you know, we have all these constitutionally protected rights to say what we think, to print what we think, to go where we want, all these kind of things. But I said, ah, just for the heck of it, since I happen to be here, why don't I just have you take a quick look at the law books, right, which is like six and a half inches tall uh, for just this little enclave, right, just the little hamlet of uh, New Albany. Um, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, what's, what's smaller than a hamlet? Right? It probably goes like county, city, right? hamlet, vill- oh, maybe village, I don't know. But in any event, this little hamlet that I live in, uh, uh, in New Albany, so she goes, oh, that, you know, that's a great idea. I can't imagine it is illegal, but why don't I just go back and check with the, you know, with the code enforcement people? So I said, great. I super appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm walking around looking at all the brochures and, you know, going, oh, yeah, there's where the judge sits. I wonder if I could get in there and bang the gavel. You know, would they freak if I did that? So, um, you know, what, what, what you'd normally think. So I get in there. And I'm waiting around, I'm waiting around. It's like 10 minutes. She finally comes back and says, oh, we happen to find in the statute, you ready for this? People's Republic of New Albany. They have a statute, a printed statute, right? People's Republic of New Albany. It is illegal to walk down the street carrying a sign. Any sign that is designed to be, and the word they use is transportable, any sign that they use to be transportable is illegal. Absolutely illegal. Can't do it. Send out the the police, right? Any sign. So I go, are you kidding me, right? And not, I'm not disappointed, but I'm just like, really? What happened the ability just to, right? You live in a free country, allegedly. What happened to the ability to say, oh, well, there's a statute. Now, get this. If I had a sandwich board, one of those big plastic things, you know, that uh, uh, like a, a TP, if I'm still allowed to say TP, I'm not culturally appropriating Native Americans. Am I still allowed to go like this, right? Or, 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 or am I still... Uh, allowed to make a TP sign. Um, so what happens is they say, oh, yeah, well, that's allowed. You can put a sandwich board sign on a sidewalk, but you can't have a sign that's designed to be portable and walk down the sidewalk in the People's Republic of New Albany, which just fascinates me. But in any event, that was my day. So what I'll be doing is I'll be looking for the New Albany uh, city limit signs. 
and I'll be standing like three feet this side of the sign, right? And I'll have my little sign up, and then I'll shuffle over like this, and I will have crossed over the line. I'll put my sign down, and I'll go, oh, but if I step over here, I'll put my sign back up, and it's good. Now, if anyone knows, and, and I should ask Kathy. Kathy may very well know. Is it illegal everywhere? Like, do I have to go to uh, Gahanna, to, uh, some of the other places, uh, some of the other places where I live, but, you know, some of the uh, surrounding uh, municipalities, right? I, I said all the time, big government doesn't live in Washington, D.C. Big government lives in little minds. And these little minds, right, they, they, they go, oh, well, I'll never be president, but I have an ego that size. Maybe I should just be the president of the housing co-op. The, the 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 right wherever I live, or I'll be the president of the People's Republic of uh, of, of of New Albany. Jen said, uh, Kathy says, "What? That's insane." Kathy, is it like that all over? Right? Is it like it throughout Columbus? Although I can't imagine the Columbus police are thinking, "Oh yeah, let's wait for that guy. We're gonna get him." Yeah, once he steps out on the sidewalk with his sign. Handcuffs, which, when you think about it, will be a great viral video of the patrolman trying to wrestle a guy with a brain tumor and a sign on a stick to the ground. Wrestle the guy to the ground, right, because I'm carrying my sign around. So then I started thinking, well, what if I just, what if I just wear the placard like a shirt, right? What if I put on a pair of boxers and I just put this on and I walk down the street? And she goes, well, it's a shirt, Right, technically it's clothing, so that shouldn't that shouldn't be the case. And then you know, it just devolves. She says you could probably wear a hat. <laughs> so I don't know. We're busy working on it. But Kathy, what do you think? Is is there is that is that like statewide here? In uh, yet another reason why I say the acronym for Ohio stands for Oh how I'm out of here. But I can't imagine it's any easier in uh, uh, Illinois. I can't. Uh, Jenny says that's BS. As long as you are in motion, you're good. If you stand still, they can get you. I know. Well, the only time I was going to stand still is with the little light, right? Well, you know me, right? One step away from Rain Man without all the good parts. But if, right, if the if the sign, the hand comes up and says, don't walk, I'm going to stand right there. That's when they'll get me, right? They'll get me. And my defense in front of the, of the a judge will be, well, the sign said, don't walk, right? So I was just standing there waiting for the sign. <laughs> Uh, Jenny, uh, Kathy says, I'm clueless. No, Kathy, I'm sure you're not. I, I just didn't know if you happened uh, to know. Jen says, I planned a bunch of protests to know when we had a permit, we could stand still without one. As long as we kept moving, they couldn't do anything but complain. See, and I'm a, as long as they keep moving, I would love for them to complain kind of guy. So, But that's what I've been uh, uh, up against, uh, just so you know. Ina, good morning to you as well. Thank you so very much for joining us. Ina, is it Ina or Ina? I think I've asked you that before, and I'm sorry that I don't remember. I'm going to, although I am going to miss this amnesia if they ever get me fixed. Um, Ina or Ina, Ms. Putnam, thank you so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. Good morning to you as well. So, Jenny, I'll keep you abreast. Maybe we can talk about it on Saturday. I've got a meeting set this morning with one of the head uh, 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 gulag people. Uh, in the People's Republic of New Albany to figure out, right? So I'll keep you all abreast of what's going on. All right, so let's do this. Let's quickly jump to our low lives making headlines. I don't want to, because one is really great and one is really just despicable. So let's get to this and then uh, we'll get back to the show. Hot heads wrapped in thin skin, covering brittle brains atop balsa wood spines. It's time... (laughs) For low lifes making headlines. It's really wild. The audio is a little low there this morning, but you get the drift. It's time for low lifes making headlines. Okay, so this morning, as I've told you, I'm torn. I'm of two brains. It rhymes with Dina. Ina. Okay, Ina, thank you. I will never forget that again. Ina. Dina. It rhymes with Dina. All right, Ina, thank you for so much for joining us. Henry, thank you for joining us as well here on All Natural Being. I know you got a big, big, big event uh, tomorrow night. And I know Henry's also agreed to come on and hang out with us Saturday. So we'll be hearing about his big event. So we're very excited uh, for him. Uh, and for Rita as well, that should be an absolute blast. And I'm looking forward to talking about it so that everyone can get caught up on the uh, excellent adventures of Henry Noel. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. So here's my uh, scoop. Here's both the low life making headline, if you will. Let me get over here to have it uh, all written down. The low life making headline. Um, and then let's, let's uh, end with the... Uh, hero making headline. Okay, so the low life making headline for today, and right, let me just also say that one of the things that I've realized, especially now with the GoFundMe campaign, 
is that complete strangers going, nah, we, you know, Will watches back while he's on a knee. Absolute complete strangers. If you ever want to have your faith in humanity um, reinfused, just watch what happens on a GoFundMe campaign. People you don't even know are like, yeah, let me, I, I'm absolutely going to do what I can to help him while he's down. So it, 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 it just infuses you once again with a sense of how great. Right. And, and, and infuriates you when you look at all the anti-human, you know, the anti-humanity, all the things they do to try to divide us. And you just want to you go, hey, I got a road sign. Yeah, it's a mallet. Also, it doubles. Right. So why don't you come over here and say that? Um, but it just it, 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 when you're done being infuriated, you're reinfused with a sense of how great humanity could be. Now, for the low life making headline this morning, this first one is not that it's more the you grab your sign and use it as a mallet. Uh, the, it, and this is uh, from Gay. Gainesville, uh, Waffle House murder victim was busy paying for other people's meals and handing out cash. So uh, this young gentleman uh, uh, is suspected, 25 years old, suspected of killing uh, Mr. Craig Artez Brewer in the Newberry Road Waffle House in Gainesville. New details have emerged in the shooting of early Sunday morning that left one man dead. Apparently, the suspect's girlfriend was bummed that she wasn't one of the ones uh, that got her breakfast. Uh, her wa- and they, it, it, I don't know if you've ever eaten at a Waffle House, but it, especially at 2.30 in the morning, there's no food like Waffle House food at 2.30 in the morning. She was upset that uh, she didn't get her meal paid for. Um, so, uh, uh a woman who was at the Waffle House got angry because uh, a brewer's generous turn in paying for other meals didn't include hers. Brewer had been picking up the tab for others' food and handing out $20 bills. Well, God, look, good for him. And the victim was uh, engaging folks at the restaurant, and there was a disagreement with the female customer. So the suspect, who is, I guess is the girlfriend's uh, or the girl's boyfriend, um, gets in an argument going, well, what's wrong with my girlfriend? Why didn't, why wouldn't you pick up her uh, meal tab, right? I don't know what she was eating. It, it didn't seem from the article that she ordered like 11 plates of breakfast. I don't know. But, you know, it's most certainly in his right to decide who he pays for and who he doesn't. Uh, they got into a brief uh uh, a, a brief altercation, and then the suspect pulls the trigger, shoots him multiple times, one of which is in the head. Shoots another human being in the head because he hadn't paid for his girlfriend's breakfast. So our low life making headline this morning. If you want, I'll put uh, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link up. Um, uh, Mr. Hicks is uh, the suspect in killing. Now, I haven't seen, maybe there's an update since then, but he shoots a guy over a $20 bill. And if you ever, you know, years ago when I first started the show, and thank you all for everyone that's reached out and said, oh, I remember you way back when, when I first started the show and I had returned the vendor. This is an example of someone where you go, you're going to shoot someone over a $20 bill. It's time to send you back to your maker. Uh, and it just just the way I feel. Now, as promised, we have to reinfuse ourselves with a sense of humanity. We also have this story, and I wish I knew more about it, and I'm sorry that I don't, but you'll get the gist. Now, here's a guy. As a New Jersey high school principal dies after donating bone marrow to help a boy in France. Now, this uh, a, a gentleman's uh, name, a New Jersey high school principal, an army veteran, died Sunday after suffering from complications following a procedure to donate bone marrow to a 14-year-old boy in France he never met. Derek Nelson, the principal at the Westfield High School, was in a coma for about a month after undergoing the donation uh, procedure uh, at a particular hospital. Um, After the procedure uh, he did, according to the spokesman, he couldn't speak and was lying in bed. Uh, his eyes were open and he realized who we were, but he could, this must be his father talking, uh, uh, Nelson, and then expected his son, who also served in the U.S. Army Reserve for more than 20 years, to wake up from the coma, but he never came out of it. And asked why he was doing it, and he was engaged and had a six-year-old daughter, he said, quote, if just a little bit of pain for a little bit of time can give someone years of joy, it's all worth it. He told the student newspaper uh, as he was preparing to do this. And, you know, bone marrow transplant, they take some out. And so here he is donating bone marrow, donating life itself, the ability for this young man, this 14-year-old boy in France who he never met, donating the ability, putting himself through the pain and anguish. And now we know it's a pretty substantial risk, but putting himself through the pain and anguish of wanting to help someone that he didn't even know. 
in a, in a foreign country, didn't even know. And he died as a part of the procedure. So, yeah, it's easy to focus on the guy in Gainesville who shoots someone over a $20 bill. But then you have guys like this, um, uh, Derek Nelson. Uh, good on you, brother. Derek Nelson, who lost his life by simply trying to make the life of another individual a bit smoother. So there's your hero making headlines for this morning. Uh, uh, and, and it just, again, it rekindles your belief. At least it rekindles my belief. I don't want to speak for you, but it rekindles my belief in that overarching sense of humanity, that infusion, and that when all the people are fighting, when all the people want us divided, when all the people got all the crappy things to say, oh, AI is going to be great because humans can't do it for themselves, or politics politicians or you know whoever else go oh well we're smarter than you we know how to do it we'll do all this for you it rekindles your belief uh, in humanity uh, all over again so uh daniela good morning belated happy birthday i hope you had a blast um good morning to you as well good morning henry thank you so much for joining us here at all natural being well i was going to say ipm nation which would have been good i'm telling you it's going to be nice being, <laughs> being fixed Right? Not that kind of thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, Three times in the past week, I had men open the door for me, and I courteously thank them. I appreciate their kindness. Kathy, thank you very much. And I have to tell you, Kathy, you probably know this story. I did. I tried the same thing not too long ago at a leftover from law enforcement. We call them stop and robs. But, you know, these little gas station things. Uh, And I got to the door a couple seconds ahead, and I opened the door and stepped back. And the lady there said, look, I don't need you. Um... Uh, I don't need you opening the door for me. I can do it myself, right? So this whole this whole thing of thinking, well, if a man does it, you know, toxic masculinity is going to kill the planet. Toxic masculinity. Forget about the black hole that they say now is bigger than I don't know Trenton, New Jersey. However big this black hole is, I guess it's bigger than our entire galaxy. Is that right? It's like the sun and everything we got going on here. A black hole bigger than all that. Yeah, that's. Don't worry about that, but worry about toxic masculinity. That's going to be the downfall of our uh, uh, of our solar system for sure. Um, but in any event, she says, "I don't need you getting my door." So I said, "Okay," and I, so I stepped in front, did a little shuffle, <laughs> stepped in front, shut the door right in her face, right, and then just watching me, 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 the whole of the time after that. So. Uh, Kathy, I thank you for thanking the person or appreciating the person that did that because there's I, there's just great people. You, you just you have to look outside of, of the ability or their attempts at dividing us with politics and with religion and with race and all these other baitings that go in. Um, there's just some great people, um, more great people than not. And that's evident in uh, just in the stories that you see and the different things. So this morning, sorry to belabor the point, but I wanted to make it a low life making headlines and a hero's making headlines and leave with the hero uh, making the headlines. And for the people like these three gentlemen uh, that open the door for you, Kathy, here's a shout out to them, whoever they are. Uh, God love them. All right, so don't forget this Saturday, if you get a chance, from 11 a.m. till midnight, you know, Ashley said to me last night, she goes, are you sure you're going to be able to stay awake for all that? I go, I don't know. But I'll set up a little cot, you know, like one of those backyard lazy loungers. Uh, I'll set up a little cot with a pillow and this and that. If I get too tired, I'll just tap out and take a nap and uh, and, uh, see how we can can keep the show. Take like a 20-minute nap. Excuse me, my own 20-minute victory. We'll see if I can't get that up and going. But uh, we're going to give it a best shot this Saturday, all drawing attention to the Brian Brain Trust. So if you get a chance to join us, that would be great. All right, we're going to go ahead and don't – oh, I'm going to mention this too. Uh, We are – thanks. Matt has taught me how to do this. We're going to try it again this morning. But up in 30, a guarantee. uh, Within 30 minutes, you'll be able to get today's show up live on ipnmation.com slash the bry. So there's not all that waiting around. That's our up in 30 guarantee. And I'll see if I can pull it off this morning. I didn't do such a great job on – what is today? Thursday. So I was off Wednesday. So Tuesday – 
didn't do such a great job, didn't get it to work, but apparently there was a glitch, and now I'm learning how to not have a glitch, so we'll be doing that. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for joining us. We'll be back, uh, swelling, uh, swelling be damned. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Thank you for everyone over on Spotify, for iHeartRadio and iTunes. If you're listening to the On Demand, thank you so very much. We will be back bright and early tomorrow morning. Until then, mortal up. Grab the door for somebody. Let somebody in the intersection go before you go. It, it just puts a smile on your face, and then you go, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Put a smile on my face as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I think I've said that like two or three times already. Yeah, I'm going to miss this amnesia. I really am. You've been listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Join us live every Monday through Friday, 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern. Also, check us out around the clock at allnaturalbeing.com. Until then, always remember to bring your own bold. IPMNation.com. 